I'm going to make something that I think is pretty special and that's a tri-tip with a coffee ground rub. I really love this cut of beef and the rub adds a wonderful depth of flavor. When cooked correctly, the tri-tip is incredibly tender and flavorful. And if I'm having a bunch of friends over for dinner, it's much easier to make this than cook everybody individual steaks. I have friends that will stop whatever they're doing, cancel any previous plans if they know that I'm making this in the wood oven. So I have this really beautiful three pound tri-tip. It's named that way because of its triangular shape and it's cut from the bottom of the sirloin. I had my butcher prep it by trimming off most of the fat and removing the silver skin. That way the rub will really penetrate the meat. And though it may not look like it, the tri-tip is actually in two parts with the grain running in different directions. So for the best results, it should be carved against the grain in each section. You can add the rub just a few hours before you're going to cook the tri-tip but I think it really enhances the flavor if you leave it in the refrigerator overnight. So for the coffee rub I have, two tablespoons of finely ground coffee. It can be whatever your favorite coffee is. One tablespoon of granulated garlic. One tablespoon of brown sugar. Two teaspoons of ground cardamom. One teaspoon of ground coriander. One tablespoon of kosher salt and one and a half tablespoons of ground black pepper. This is quite a flavorful rub, so I'm only gonna sprinkle over a light coating. Also, because of the dry heat of the oven, too much of it will cake up and fall off while it's cooking. I took my tri-tip out of the refrigerator a couple of hours ago to let it come up to temperature. And during that time, I prepared my oven and placed my fire between the back and the side. And I'm gonna use my large cast iron tray and cook the tri-tip to be medium rare, rather like I would a steak. The only difference is when I'm making something like some ribeye steaks, I like to get the oven up to a very high temperature and then sear them on each side for just two or three minutes. But because of the size of the tri-tip and the time it will take to cook, if the oven is too hot, the outside might burn before the center is ready. So I gradually built up my fire so the center of the oven floor is around 550 Fahrenheit or 290 centigrade. So I'll begin by adding some vegetable oil to the pan and heat that up in the oven. I estimate it will take around seven to eight minutes on each side, but the time that the tri-tip is in the oven is less important than the internal temperature. The final temperature I'm looking for in the thickest part of the roast is no more than 130 Fahrenheit, that's 55 degrees centigrade. But I have found for the best results 
is to take it out of the oven when it reaches around 120 Fahrenheit or 50 degrees centigrade, then let it rest for 15 minutes, then it will be the temperature I'm looking for. While the tri-tip is cooking, I'll rotate the pan a few times to be sure it cooks evenly. I think another minute or two and this will be done. So I'm going to let this rest for 15 minutes and that will give me plenty of time to finish my roasted potatoes and saute some broccoli. When everything is ready, I'll carve the roast across the grain and serve the vegetables. <laughs> 